Good evening, right ladies now. and gentlemen. Welcome to Fort Leonard Wood in the Modern Army Combatives Program Competition Championship Fight Night. Tonight's fights are also the qualifier for the Army Combatives Tournament that will be held October 1st through the 3rd at Fort Benning, Georgia. The winners of tonight's bouts qualify to be part of the Fort Leonard Wood team, the Ozark Striker. When I'm putting the best link, can you just make sure I don't put any gobs on? I'm Jesse Rutledge, your announcer for tonight's competition. We'd like to recognize the fight coordinators for tonight's championship bouts and the preliminary fights that took place earlier this week. They are Mr. Todd Nelson from the DPTM Operations and Staff Sergeant Miguel Baltazar of the 58th Transportation My Battalion. <laughs> the sponsors for tonight's event are the Fort Leonard Wood Maneuver Support Center of Excellence, Family and MWR, the Davison Fitness Center, Monster Energy Drink, and the Fort Leonard Wood Chapter of the Association of the United States Army. The defining characteristics of a warrior is the willing, willingness to close and destroy the enemy. Combatives focus on the warrior ethos and teach each soldier how to close with the enemy should they encounter a close quarters battle too close to use a weapon or if a weapon malfunctions. Modern Army Combatives is a functional mixed martial art form of combining Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Muay Thai, so, boxing, clinch hitting, takedowns, and ground fighting techniques, and also employs techniques borrowed from judo, kickboxing, and Greco-Roman wrestling. This evening you will have the pleasure of seeing six separate championship fights in six different weight classes, which will determine the top ranked competitor in each weight class. The lightweight division, 126 to 140 pounds. The welterweight division, 141 to 155 pounds. The middleweight division, 156 to 170 pounds. The cruiserweight division, 171 to 185 pounds. The light heavyweight division, 186 to 205 pounds. And our heavyweight division, those competitors over 205 pounds. Each bout this evening will be, a th will be three five-minute rounds, and the winner will be determined by the competitor with the highest point total on the ju judge's scorecard at the end of the three rounds, or by one competitor submitting to the other. These will be striking fights under the Army Combat of Advanced Rules. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by Command Sergeant Major Ellsbury, the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence, Command Sergeant Major. Pray with me if you like. Lord, watch over these fighters. Let their march and display, their match and display, further infuse our warrior ethos and continue to display the greatest military power in the world. Lord, watch over our service members deployed in harm's way. Give them strength to be compassionate when need be and lethal when they must. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, please join me in welcoming the host of tonight's event, the Commanding General of the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence in Fort Leonard Wood, Major General David Quanta. Cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Well, what a great turnout. Hey, everybody's sleeping over there. Wake up over there. Are you guys waking up? Oh, are you ready to rumble here? Well, I'll tell you one thing. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got warriors. You know, there's a reason why we're the world's greatest land power the world has ever seen. You're going to see a little bit of it tonight. You're going to see warriors out here practicing the warrior ethos. Never say quit, never say die, giving 110%. And that's what this warrior ethos is all about. But what's neat about this is this talks about the warrior ethos, the warrior spirit, and that's what we do when we wear this uniform. It's about that warrior ethos and warrior spirit. And again, that's why we're the, why the, we're the world's greatest rent land power. So we've got uh, some great outstanding warriors getting ready to come out here. Let's give them a big round of applause. I want to thank also, I want to thank all of you for being out here tonight. It's great seeing you, great seeing all these folks. I mean, this is big stuff. All those winners out of here will go on and compete at the all-army level. That is a big deal. And represent Fort Lenderwood. Again, putting us on the map. So that's awesome. But what's neat about this is I'm glad at the end of the day, when the contest is all here, that took a lot for these individuals to train. Well, all of us... You know, we're going back to the desk there, pushing the extra weights, work, putting in the extra time to be combat ready, and we're going to see you here tonight. But it's all that extra effort. It's all that extra work that has put them in the ring here tonight. So make sure you show them your appreciation by cheering them on. Who? Huh? All right, let's start this thing. Let's make some noise for these great warriors. Huh? Thank you, General Quantock. And now, let's get ready to rumble! And when he calls them out when they first come to me is when I'm going to... Before we bring our first competitors out, we want to recognize the flyweight champion. He was okay, so crowned after they get earlier in this week during the preliminary reason. fights. Okay. He hails from Omaha, Nebraska. And he represented the 509th Route Clearance Company of the 5th Engineer Battalion. Please welcome to the center ring, PFC, Jay Jacobson. This evening is in the lightweight division. Oh. Introducing first in the red corner, he weighed in at 134 pounds. He hails from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And he represents the 94th Engineer Battalion. Please put your hands together for PFC Manuel Montoya. All right. All right. All right, I'll go ahead and step in, go to your corner, and I'll brief you when you get to your corner. All right. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 140 pounds. 
He hails from Caguas, Puerto Rico. Representing Alpha Company, 310 Infantry Regiment, Staff Sergeant Jose Hi, fighters, bring it to the center. All right, go ahead and shake hands. All right, listen up, guys. You guys have been briefed on the rules. You know what's illegal and what's not. Let's keep it a good, clean fight. Have respect for each other. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna save you. You can be saved by the bell, but you can only be saved by me if it's uh, gonna be one of your limbs, and or if you're uh, if you pass out. Remember, tap out is always an option. Let's have a good, clean fight. Give these guys a show, okay? Back up to your corners. Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? Timer, you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight! Protect yourself, fighter. Head off the mat, head off the mat. Let's go. My toy, you got you gotta get him up. Come on, fighters. Fighter, protect yourself. Hey, cover up, cover up, cover up. Don't land this punch. Protect yourself. Keep fighting. Fires. You good? Go ahead, done. All right. Good job, man. Hey, I saw your lights go a little bit. Shake hands, guys. Good fight. Winner, TKO. Whoa. Spun in his head, so I was like, done. Representing Alpha Company 310 Infantry, Staff Sergeant Jose Nunez. Good man. All right. Did you see that? His head hit, hit with the mat. Um, yeah. We already told him about that. We gotta get the other fighters. 
good job. Thank you, right. His head absorbed that whole punch. Oh he left God. it on the mat. Did you hear the thud? Yeah. His eyes went. Yeah, he was good. His eyes went in the back of his head, so I was... Yeah. <laughs> Our next fight this evening is in the welterweight division. Yep. Introducing first... Well, he didn't have his head up, and he corner. had it down on the mat, and that's what hurt He him. hails from Jacksonville, Florida. He weighed in at 152 pounds. Representing Charlie Company, 787 MP Battalion. Staff Sergeant, Mabin Simfu Let's go to work. Go in there, control your breathing. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Lebanon, Missouri. He weighed in at 154 pounds, representing the 463rd MP Company. He already told me I got to pull Jay, Little Psycho Powell. After I get done with here, go to your corner in the blue there. All right, and then I'll give you guys a brief. Call it good from there. All right, bring it to the center. All right, go ahead, shake hands if you guys want. Hey, you guys know the rules. You've all got the brief. You know what's going on. Let's give them a good fight. Keep it clean. If uh, anything comes up, Negative, we'll take a point or we'll just we'll go from the situation, all right? Just keep it a good fight and give them a good chill, all right? Go ahead and back up to your corners. Yep. Judge, you ready? You ready? Judge, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fight! Fighters, protect yourself, fighters, protect yourself. Good job, guys. Winner, TKO! Whoa! Good job, man. Hey, stay in the case, give you trophy. And your winner in the welterweight division by TKO in the first round, representing the 463rd MP Company, Staff Sergeant Jay Little Psycho Powell. Our 
our next bout this evening is in the middleweight division. Introducing first out of the red corner, he weighed in at 169 pounds. He hails from Carlsbad, New Mexico. He's representing headquarters and headquarters company, 4th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade. Please welcome Captain Josh Mogar. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Junction City, Kansas. He weighed in at 169 pounds, representing the U.S. Marine Corps Detachment. Staff Sergeant David Taz Holloway. You got any cuts or anything you want me to hit pretty good? Go ahead, shake your hands, fighters. All right, you guys know the rules, you know the deal. I ain't gotta explain anything to you. We'll go from there. If anything happens, keep it clean. Let's give them a good fight, all right? Go back to your corners. Good? Good? Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fight! that forearm on the face.
advance your positions. Watch that forearm on the face. Watch punch back in the head. Defend yourself. Watch those knees. Ladies and gentlemen, for the benefit of the other spectators on the floor, we ask that you remain seated during the bouts. Thank you. Stop. I gotta stop it for bleeding. Stop. Time. Come on. It's only a bike. Hand me the Vaseline. Keep fighting, sir. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Take time. This is good. All right, hurry up. Drink your water. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, let's go. Buddy, you ready? Back up, back up. You ready? You ready? Fight! Let's go, fighters engage. Your champion in the middleweight division, representing the U.S. Marine Corps Detachment, <laughs> Staff Sergeant David Taz Holloway. Again, we'd like to take this opportunity to rep recognize our sponsors for tonight's event. The Fort Leonard Wood Maneuver Support Center of Excellence Family and MWR, the Davison Fitness Center, Monster Energy Drink, and the Fort Leonard Wood Chapter of the Association of the United States Army. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Our next bout this evening is in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 185 pounds. He hails from Didio Guam. And he's representing Charlie Company. 35th Engineer Battalion! Let's hear some noise for Staff Sergeant Benjamin Hernandez! And his opponent this evening, fighting out of the blue corner. He also weighed in at 185 pounds. He hails from Crosby, Texas. <laughs> representing the 795th MP Battalion, Sergeant Michael Garcia. Get you over here. All right, after I grease you up here, go to your corner. I'll step in the ring, they'll close the door, then we'll bring you guys together for a little brief, and then we'll go at it, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, you've been briefed on the rules. Let's keep it a good, clean fight. Let's give them all a good show. You guys know the rules. Uh, anything illegal, I'll either dock a point or DQ you, so let's not do any of that. So we got it good from the start. All right, do you have any questions of me? All right, go ahead and back up to your corners. Go, Daddy. Good. Good. Good, Sergeant. Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fight! Go, 
I'll grab it. Watch the back of the head. I saw you grab the thing, all right? All right. Come on. Winner by submission. Red. I saw him grab the thing and choke it. He w it was sunk in, so I made it. Oh. I didn't see it, man. Hey. The way it looked, I saw it sunk in, your eyes were coming out, and I saw you come in, you grabbed once, and you grabbed again. So that's a tap. To remember to? Yeah. I already announced it. You already announced it? Roger okay. that, sorry, mate. I already said it. Winner by submission, didn't I? Yeah. Hernandez. He, and your winner, fighting out of the like red this, corner, it, representing the 35th Engineer it, Battalion. Due to a submission hold, rear naked choke, Staff Sergeant Benjamin Hernandez. Our fifth fight this evening is in the light heavyweight division. This is the 186 to 205 pound weight class. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 198 pounds. He hails from Brooklyn, New York. He's representing the 77th Engineer Company of the 94th Engineer Battalion. Staff Sergeant Jason Agliston. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 192 pounds. He hails from the Bronx, New York. <laughs> Representing Alpha Company, 310 Infantry Battalion. Staff Sergeant Jermaine Bruce. Uh, what's that? The wet mat? Yeah, the wet mat's right. I'm standing on top of it. Okay.
All right, guys, you know the rules. Hey, make the taps blatant. We don't want anything to have that. You guys know the deal. All right. Make the taps noticeable. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you if know I when tap, you're caught too. If I tap, yeah, yeah. If I tap, I tap. Man. All right, let's keep the blows legal. You guys have all been brief. You know the rules. Keep it clean. Let's give them a good show. You guys got any questions of me? All right, go ahead and step back to your corners. Have to shake hands. Oh. All right. Maxwell. Good. Fighter, are you ready? Fighter, are you ready? Fight! Don't push it with your thumb. Don't push it with your thumb. Keep going. Defend yourself, Adam. Watch that thumb. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Come on, defend yourself. Stop. Let's go. You gotta defend yourself, man. Better. Let's go. Yeah, no, you're done. Yep. Yep. Come on, bring it. Let's go this way. No, hey, you're on this corner. Winner, TKO! Yeah, you gotta move or buck, man, you know. Hey, good job. Cool. Brooklyn in the house. Yeah. And your champion in the light heavyweight division, fighting out of the red corner, Staff Sergeant Jason Eggleston. All right? I'm good. This next fight is our last fight of the evening. Let's get ready to rumble. This fight is in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 261 pounds. He hails from Cleveland, Ohio. Representing the Marine Corps detachment staff sergeant Adam O'Malley and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner 
He uh, weighed in it. at 214 pounds. He hails from Lamarck, Texas, representing Echo Company, 795th MP Battalion, Staff Sergeant Shamsadeen Bam Bam Good start. All right, guys, bring it in. All right, final fight of the night. Let's give them a good show. You guys know uh, the move, what's illegal, what's not. Keep it clean. Let's have a good final, all right? All right, go ahead, shake hands, break it to your corner. That's it. Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? champion in the heavyweight division representing the U.S. Marine Corps Detachment, Staff Sergeant Adam O'Malley. The focus of tonight's fights may have been on the competition, but the center of modern Army combatives program at Fort Leonard Wood remains the same, preparing soldiers to fight and win on the battlefield. Please join me in a round of applause for all of our fighters this evening. Confidence comes from competence. It's not enough to simply tell soldiers to be aggressive. They must have faith that they're in their abilities to build through hard and arduous training and know that they are going to win. All of the competitors have proven that tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Commanding General of the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence, Major General Quantock. All right, well, again, thanks for coming. Saw some great fights tonight, some great examples of the warrior ethos. Everybody have a safe... Everybody have a safe weekend. Oh.